We going already? Shit, we, we already go. live, nigga. We live. We live. We live. We live with it. Okay, we'll switch the pimping up we then to the pimping, because he came in here, he thought he wasn't going to have the freestyle nothing with us. I told him. Oh, but he, he, oh, he this before I get to the question. Nah, this, yeah. He got to play that, because it, it, fits, it fits the question. Yeah, we about to set it up. <laughs> okay, Since he got to thing. play this. He got to play here. Before you back, get to it, the good it, shit, just go ahead and say it. Ah, 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 Make sure that the pimping is Jalen, Plymouth, Plymouth, please. I'm in the trap. I'm in the trap for real, too. Cold water to the head. I'm in the trap. It's like this is our R&B pimping. Right. Uh-huh. You feel me? Okay. We know who we have coming through our yeah. show, so we have a special tailor-made pivot for each and every guest. Ladies, 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 listen. Carlos got something to say. Carlos got something to say? I got a lot of things to yeah. say. Mm -hmm. But before I get to saying them, I'm going to say the things that need to be said like right. a precursor. Right, right. Yeah. Now, the 85 South Show has been voted the number yep. one show amongst oh, yeah. black people mm -hmm. who make yeah. between zero and eighty-five thousand dollars a year. Ooh, yeah. You said how much? Zero. To how much? Eighty-five thousand. Oh yeah. <laughs> now I don't make up the facts. I just read. It. I think we got. I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah. think break up. <laughs> oh yeah. That means zero from, just means. They ain't showing their income. Exactly. I did. All okay. cash. Oh, yeah. It's all cash. <laughs> Under the table. Pay <laughs> five. You feel me? Yeah. 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 This show oh, yeah. right here has helped multiple black men bounce back yeah. from child support, <laughs> parking tickets, oh, suspended yeah. license, probation, <laughs> parole, oh, yeah. warrants. Holes, okay. no. all types of yeah. miscommunications, yeah. okay. misunderstandings. Yeah. Hey. This is Ooh the yeah. number three show amongst Ooh black men who yeah. are stepfathers. Ooh yeah. We only number yeah. three because they refuse to make us number yeah. one. Okay. Ooh yeah. ER okay. and Lord yeah. Norton. Ooh yeah. Ooh Ooh yeah. They like that shit. Ooh yeah. Hey. And we got the R. House today. party in the building. What the fuck you mean? House party yeah. in the building. New generation. Come on. You know what I'm saying? They done made a whole movie. Mm. Yeah. And ain't nobody yeah. said yeah. nothing we about it yet. We, we on the Delta Planes right now. New release. No cap. I just recorded this. Come on, man. <laughs> I done watched it on yeah. every platform. Yeah. Enjoy your up. flight. When you fly, you can be watching us while you fly. Now, now I feel was going like I got to say this because I know y'all. I bought the movie for $20 on the shit that pop up on the TV. <laughs> yeah. I own it. Hey, you bought it. Oh, yeah. I rented it. That's love. We well, owned it if you paid $20. And I watched it. You could have owned it. I watched yeah. it on the plane, own. too. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you, you got 24 hours of money. What's up on the deck? $22. You can't own some shit that's digital. <laughs> I know, they can take it at any moment. <laughs> it's a tangible <laughs> item, right? I'm a forgotten <laughs> password away from not having none, none of this shit. You don't shit. pay your cable? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, give me back all yeah, that. All my movies that I done bought on cable. Right here. You like that. So if they yeah. cut your cable off, you can't watch this shit anyway. Oh, yeah. I mean, what would you, like, subscriptions. How many subscriptions y'all got right now? Everything goes. All of them. Sometimes I just agree to shit. I don't know for what real, I'm paying I'm just for. like purchase. I'm paying for all the purchases. I don't know if I paid Man, that $20 one to time or every month. Y'all bullshit. I just went and did a whole financial breakdown. For real. I'm getting rid of that, that, this. I'm only keeping all the free shit. Tubin, Roku channel. <laughs> you got an app? Who? You got an app to see like uh, the breaking out? I see my bank statement. Tubin, free. Yeah. Roku, TV. Yeah. Free. All you gotta do is, and if you don't buy Roku TV, you gotta keep the channel you get the 89, 99 Roku that you can hook up to. You your gotta TV. keep the channel 85 app. Though. That's the only app I got. Okay. Channel 85. App. Channel 85. That's the only one. I mean, if you told us, so, you got the app. I'm you know, talking like you paying for YouTube TV. Ain't I mean, bad. If they threw us a check, we you know this people to get YouTube TV because that shit don't like. Get everything. Good. Well, they ain't do. They ain't do it yet though. YouTube TV get what? I was just saying hypothetically. YouTube wanted more people to get YouTube TV than they should. Yeah, give us it, but, but see, this is the thing I don't like with YouTube TV. TV. Yeah, yeah. I got YouTube TV, but they don't let you watch a lot of YouTube shit. 
No, it's no to YouTube. Like, 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 what you, what you mean? Nigga, I want YouTube plus the TV shit. No, no, you gotta go YouTube. You gotta YouTube go YouTube TV to watch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on YouTube TV trying to watch Battle Rap. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you watch that's TV. That's too different. That's too different. Search <laughs> not found. I'm like, this is bullshit. You try oh, to watch oh, Smack. Before we get into let me let me wrap this up. You see how we just was going off and we ain't even get to say what needed to be said? Ooh, yeah. So before we do that, we gotta say, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Come on, man. Yeah! Yes, Come indeed. On, man. Yes, indeed. Come on, man. I feel, like, yeah. I feel like I'm in Milwaukee right now. Well, you know what I'm saying? My uncles, my pops. That's why you family. got a sweat on. I'm your yeah. uncle. I'm your uncle. You feel no, like I'm you're just in saying, like the vibe. Like, you ain't say cousins. You just said with my uncles. I right. mean, I kick it with the. I kick it with my uncles. That's all. He was. He was talking about That's me. He, you his cousin. Right. Right. Yeah, he was just talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know what well, he related. Real life, but that don't mean like he can relate. I feel like I'm in. You know, like. Yeah, uh, this is the trap. This ain't his cousin kick it back. This is uncle kick it back. I, I yeah. feel I'm, I'm an old, I'm born his <laughs> uncle. Get, I was two no. when he was born, but I'm still an uncle. <laughs> but you you are like, I am. you're like the youngest uncle. I'm a great uncle. Great uncle. <laughs> Well, we gotta introduce our guests. Come on, man. Because everybody's uncles today. It's, yes, un it's Uncle Cookout vibes uh, over here. Come on, man. Look at my sound. You know this nigga on another level, bro. Yeah, he wear a sweater in the middle of the I summer the with a white beater on. Y'all look. I mean, look, feel with me. With a white beater on. Yeah. That's how you I know mean, young I mean, nigga is not clean. Cause see, TV ain't got no temperature. Fuck exactly. You but it he is not nice clean. If, keep it, if it's hot. You know what I'm talking about? I'm in the trap. You in full R&B mode today, bro? Right now. Right now. Right now with it. You know what I mean? For real, Lil Waters, Cardigans, right. White Beats. Lil Waters, Cardigans. Man, this ain't y'all friends. Lil Waters, This ain't y'all friends. Cardigans. No cap. My man's in them. Who that? Movie star. R&B singer, yeah. TV on, star. Multi yeah. hyphenate. We talked about they this talk about earlier. They talking about us. This nigga gonna sing your bitch draws off. They <laughs> nigga skate too. What? Ooh, yeah. I can't skate like I can't skate like DC though. My, my, I'm sorry. I teach you my boy. Crazy. That's a roll bounce thing. Him and DC yeah. did a movie my together. Body be going. Come on, man. Come on, man. With my dog, man. It yeah, sounded like they had some major movies back in the day. We, we did. Like, we all got films. We all <laughs> did. Yeah, so the house party movie wasn't the first time they had a house party. No, no, no sir. Man, it should have been a movie called The Skate Party. Oh well, shit. Well, shit. Without further, literally, we could introduce this nigga all day. Without further ado, none other than Jacob Blackmore's in the trap. Today, we only bring it ghetto legends through the track. I told him when you got here, Flag. We yeah. only bring people on the show that we gonna have on the ghetto album. Legend. Like if that. we wouldn't have you on the album, you can't come on here. Can I be? I mean, you can't. You will be on the album. Yeah, featuring featuring Jay. Yeah, like I love that. Yeah, it'll be you and DC on there, and y'all be serenading. Yeah. And then I'm gonna come in and be the unapologetic, apologetic nigga. Right. <laughs> we bring it back 90s R&B. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. come in and be like, yeah, seeing you with a dude. Oh, you gonna do the deep voice talk? I wasn't tripping about nothing, because as wrong as you were, I was wronger. Oh, man. As wrong as you were, I was wronger. I like that. You feel me? I like that. You play that? Yeah, yeah, you bitch got to get it. Yeah, right. yeah. Because yeah. even though you was dead ass wrong, I was wronger. Yeah. Ooh. Believing, believing in you in the first place. Uh -huh. For believing in us, for believing in me, for the things that I believed. Now, if you walk out that door one more time, that's the last time. But we said that the last time that it wouldn't be no more last times. Right. How many more last times? So baby girl, if you're just gonna keep leaving, I'm gonna go too. I'm gonna go and that too. way, when you come back, the next time it won't be nothing to come back to. Okay. Ooh. I feel like that was a breakup from yeah, the time. Yeah, you feel me? It's not, it's not, you feel me? I was like, I was like, I was like, I shit, but I was like, no. Uh, we finna break up. <laughs> I'm finna leave. That's but once we right break there. up this time, we yeah. broke it. It's over with. Come on now. Come on, That's live right there. Yeah, yeah. Went crazy. Who we got in the building? We got Clayton English in the building. That's what we got. That's right. We got J O N in the building. Yeah, J O N in the building. We got the uh, 85 South Show production crew in the building. Ooh, that's Full effect. That's what Blake we got. Blake the Crate is in the building. Full yeah. effect, right? Come on, yeah. man. We got hey. Debo Nim over there. Come on now. Uh, we, uh, you already know we got Robin over there, and I mean, her sit down because she be falling there. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> she done fell at all, all. That's how you know the show good. If she fall, <laughs> she fall all the time. Oh, Take man. a picture. We got crazy ass <laughs> Joe. We had to put Joe back in the back because people was requesting that lab. The show wasn't hitting right. the same and shit. Need to without that hey, lab and shit. Fire, man. Come on, man. Hell I, yeah. I walk through every show, the studio room in there. The, 
Make up. Hold on, nigga, we ain't done some introduction. My bad, my bad. Your introduction's yeah. still going on. Okay, oh, this quarter. Okay, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah. Is, I'm, I'm following. This the is young guy in <laughs> Hollywood, man. Young Jacob is in here Come with on, us today, yeah. man. Let's go, man. Yeah. Let's go. Young Jacob. Yeah. Jacob Latimo. The, the old people. The old people say Latimo. Latimo. Hold yeah. on, you gotta break it down, now, cause you, you come from a a a a a, a, a line of great. Yeah. Latimo. The Latimo. Yeah, man. Let them folk know oh, you how you use Latimo. Oh yeah. <laughs> that that Latimo boy. Yeah, that boy come down. That's my Latimo. Yeah. Yeah. I know your uh, arm. Yeah, your arm. I know your uh, arm. I know your arm. Uh, Me and your pop too. Yeah. Man, man. Yeah. I heard you like this. Who won them Latimo? They went for you to call them out. You and them big D. You got this big, big and then you got that big on me. I be like, what? <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yeah. for sure, man. Um. Yeah, music in the family, man. Kenny Lattimore. Talk it. My dad, my uncles, uh, they were originally an R&B group, Jersey Ave, then the Lattimore brothers yeah. went to gospel, you know what I mean? And just did their thing, man. I think the, the music industry was, was definitely tough for them coming into the game. So when I when I was young, I used to see pu limousines pulling up in front of the house in the hood in Milwaukee. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like pictures of me in the back seat with them and, you know, they going to L.A. and coming back and just like, it was crazy. They, uh, Randy Jackson had signed them. I think that was like. You talking about Randy? Randy, Randy Jackson. Randy, Randy Jackson. Jackson. No, no, yes. Randy Jackson no, from American, American Idol. Idol. American okay, Idol. Yeah. Oh, nigga. I'm tripping, I'm tripping. You talking about what up, dog? Yeah, what up, dog? Yeah. Oh, first, 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 first of all, I don't think Randy was dancing like that. Nigga, I was trying to say, I was like, I was like, I'm like, Randy. Randy. <laughs> Randy I'm like, no, 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 who this is? It's Mike. Randy was just And it wasn't until I went to like the Kids Choice Awards with my pops. I was like 14. And Randy, yeah, Randy seen my pops and just like, he lost it. He was like, yo, how the brothers do it? Like, and I was like, oh, Pops really know Randy. So you know break it down saying? to Randy Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. Then they, oh, he a big evil. No, he was a like producer. He, he played head, instruments. Yeah, he cold. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so. Um, he ain't just, we, yeah. we know him from the idol shit, but yeah. he, he, he put that work deep. Yeah, OK, yeah. And then like, if you you can actually look up the uh, Jersey Ave. My, my Pops and my uncles, they had an R&B album. That was when they were signed to him. And, uh, they put out an album, man. It was dope. It's just, you know, you go through the label stuff, you get discouraged. The right. music industry has always been tough, you know what I mean? So and then I, I came up and I was seeing them doing their things. I used to get on stage and they used to pull me off like, come on, Lil' Jay, you can't, you can't do that. And then after a while, my uncle was like, man, let him, let him get up there. Let him get up there. Let him get up there. Let the young brother sing. You know what I'm saying? Let the young brother sing. 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 Yeah. yeah, take off. Yeah, and then they just they just started kind of molding me and seeing seeing something in me. So I just by the time I got nine years old, my pops put me in the studio, and uh, he was you know writing all the songs for me. My first song was called Best Friend. Uh -huh. You were my best friend. Thought you'd always be my best. Friend. And I man, I sing just to all the girls at the at recess. Go crazy. I had my T-shirt on. Ah! I was ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, lady, yeah, I, you know I do my own music. And at nine. It. At nine. Well, child style, so boy. Bow Wow could touch this nigga. We gotta go back a second. You said you was running out there on stage. So yeah. you were just running out there. I was getting like, up. I was, they was performing. Yeah. You was just, just trying to. Because you was already singing, I'm sure, off stage yeah. and shit. So yeah. you was just going out there trying to and see. And then I would cry if they take me off. I would cry. They'd be like, they be like, yo. So you, you went to your uncles and your pops up there handling their business, and you just like, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. Can you imagine being on stage? You like, yeah. are there any ladies in the house? <laughs> What? Damn son. <laughs> <laughs> he got his own mic. So what would you do? It was just you, but you do the routine. I just go up there and just dance. I just wanted to get the mic. I just wanted to just be on stage. Ain't have security? Nah. Why are you gonna stop the you gonna stop the sun? He probably like, hey, bro, get your hands off me. I'm a ladder <laughs> Swear. So you see that more, you see that more uh Polish uh, clip? Jacob is 10, but the buzz is that he's going to be the next usher. It's because the boys think he's cool, the girls think he's dreamy, and we think he's going to be a huge star. Watch. What's up? This is your boy, Jacob Lattimore. I'm 10 years old, and I'm an R&B artist. I have become so famous, especially at school. Hey! <laughs> yes! Yo, like, that, that energy was, like, what I was trying to get off, you know what I'm saying? And then... They just started letting me. Oh, love you some more. Yeah, I was on more when I was a kid. Was it your baby? Nah. Oh, oh. Were you the baby? Nah. Oh, nah. I mean, it was just. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm like. <laughs> it comes to eight month old Jacob Lattimore. <laughs> nah, there's uh basically more used to bring 
young young kids to perform and like just they just do covers. I had my own original song though. So I came on there from Big Milwaukee. Stunt. You That's know what I'm saying? Right yeah. no more, eh? I had my dancers with me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and we were just Now we, we gotta hungry. find that clip and drop it in here, man. Swear, Somebody man. find that clip. Yeah. Out yeah. There. Yeah, we I came out there crook dancing. About to find the clip and put it in Crazy. the episode. Find the clip that. Oh, there you go. You know what it is. Clayton English. This your boy Moneybag. I, I read your part. This your boy Nam Green. And this your boy Moneybag, <laughs> and we are B2K. Man, stop playing. Listen, man. We not B2K, but we will be in Nashville. This family business, man, for oh, real. Yeah, That's what this tour is, October 1st. Well, we we is ain't these, We ain't none of that shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there ain't gonna be no dancing, none of that, man. There's gonna be some dancing, some twerking, a whole bunch of shit. Oh, by no, him, none of that. By him, Mr. Skiggy himself. <laughs> We will be provided. <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. We at Zany, October 1st. Yes, sir. Nashville. 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 Get where they can get the tickets. 85 South Show. 85 Show. Read it. Read it. Matter of fact, click it. Yeah. Come yeah. be, bring your family to be with our family. Amen. And maybe we could be family. And bring your little family home. Like, bring your little family home. Bro, what y'all got to get me to do? Nothing, bro. What you got? Us? I'm just saying. time man it's, it's me it's Clayton English I know I know it's, it's back to school it's already here man I know it's still summer but back to school is coming up why not use DoorDash to get all your kids back to school supplies that way you're not running out last minute and you got to get them the little picked over stuff you know what I'm saying they ain't even get the good lunchbox because you showed up late you know what I'm saying they don't want that lunchbox that's that was popping last year the kids that moved on past that man for real Get your kids the good pencils, not the ones with the messed up erasers that tear up the paper. That's why your kids got F's. Them school supplies wasn't shit. You gave them terrible school supplies. Listen, man, get your school supplies in time, man. With DoorDash, not only can you get food, you can get supplies for your kids. You can get food from the pantry. You can get stuff from the convenience store, all from the convenience of your home. DoorDash makes everything real simple, man. It's not just about getting food, man. It's about getting everything you might need and making your life that much easier. Because, hey, man, look at how much time it takes to run around and do things, especially if they're not all in the area. Why not spend more time with your family and spend more time with your kids? You spend more time studying so you can help them with their homework. All right? Get it together, man. DoorDash. You know we got codes for you? You thought we weren't going to give you no code? No, it's still going on, man. Go ahead, man. Order now, stress-free. Right now, use the promo code SOUTH2023 SUMMER. You're going to get 50% off up to $10 in value when you spend $15 or more at convenience, grocery, or retail stores at DoorDash. So you can shop anywhere. Convenience, grocery, retail, all of them you're going to get 50% off, $10 in value when you spend $15 or more with the promo code SOUTH2023 SUMMER. Don't forget the code is SOUTH2023 SUMMER for 50% off your next order. Don't forget, that's code South 2023 Summer for 50% off your next order. Terms apply. That's 50% off up to $10 in value when you, spill, when you spend $15 or more with the promo code South 2023 Summer. That's 50% off up to $10 in value when you spend $15 or more with the promo code South 2023 Summer. Don't forget, that's code South 2023 Summer for 50% off your next order. Terms apply. So that's how it all started. Yeah, man. Because, you know, we go way back from performing, grinding, and skating rink, skate town days. Like, yeah. you was a... Talk about that, because man. Because he a child star. Yeah. See, niggas flex. Like, it ain't too many child stars. Okay, yeah. I was growing up, when your name would come about, 
it was like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. When we even had our name attached to your name on the fly, yeah. I knew, I said, told my partner, nigga, we made it. Even all my partner from the hood, like, nigga, we on the motherfucking fly with Jacob Ladder, bro. That's hard. That shit was super hard. Nah, no, so that's just, crazy. Coming from being like a child star, how did you mold your way, like, even just still being a kid and, and having start? Man, bro, really just being around y'all, bro, for real. Like, that was my social. Yeah. You know, like, when I moved to Atlanta, I was homeschooled. You know, so I wasn't going to school every day. You right. know what I mean? So I was work, and then I wanted to go to the skating rink on weekends, cascade, right. you feel me? I wanted to go get dances on girls and skate right. or whatever. So it was like, I had to, I know that I just had to have that social kind of, I didn't want to be weird. You right. know what I'm saying? I didn't right. want to be like anti-social, you feel me? So I think it it was a managing like, okay, where, I, where I'm at in my life and where I see myself going, but also still maintaining that friendships and, and, and also I, coming to Atlanta was I saw a community of other people, other young young guys stri- striving for something. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? To right. be a part of that community was like, was huge for me. Seeing you, Jacquees, and, and then like, just this community of just rappers, singers, actors, you know, made me want to get into acting even more because I wasn't thinking about it at first. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, I'm gonna do this music first, you know, right. and do that and then, uh, it just, I just got inspired, bro. I, like, I just got inspired by entertainment overall. Right, right. So they just can't place you in the box. Yeah, yeah. So when did that, so you said like you just it inspired you to do acting. When did you know, you were like, you know what, I got to take acting serious. Because being yeah. an artist, trying to act, yeah. do all of it at the same time. Because now you busy. You can shoot shot for eight months. You're right. Ain't no way in here you can be a music star. Right. But you can. You can. But you're trying to yeah. capitalize and make sure that you prioritize correctly. Right. But master the craft at the same time. Yeah, I think it's, it's also just like knowing my fam- knowing my music audience as an independent artist, right? So it's like, I think where I'm at with music, it's not really about selling a million copies. All right, so if I got this many fans, how can I capitalize on that? You know what I mean? And I think that's just how I'm thinking right now. Like everything financially got to make sense for me on the music end. And if I'm going to do it, it's got to make sense, you know? Because I spent a lot of money. <laughs> spent a lot of money, dog. Like music videos and... Going on Nothing tour, back. you know what I mean? <laughs> you hear me just screaming fans and a couple t-shirts, so we like, right. Aight. and then you like, I gotta get this film back. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's um, it's a balance, man. So I think it's a it's a cool place I'm in where I could drop drop a visual. I just dropped a, a song called Selfish like six months ago, right. and I just was able to put you know some creative thought into it, put out a song that's dope with a dope visual, and just get back to the acting shit. It ain't really like. I'm trying to do anything. It's like if you see it, you see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing my thing and kind of falling in love with the with the process again. Right. You know what I mean? I think that's like that's the best feeling. You know, where you don't feel like you gotta you ain't doing nothing You're not extra. Doing for the money. You're not yeah. doing it for the money. Yeah, it don't yeah. feel like work. Yeah, right. yeah, just like I'm just having fun. I shot this video. Check it out. You know what I mean? And I, I think a lot of it's, it's with Emmett and the shot. It's crazy because a lot of people didn't even know I did music. Mm. You know, they like look at Emmett dancing. What the hell? You know what I mean? Coming from somebody who did music before he even did yeah. the shot. It's crazy. It's all he did, right. now. Nah. Yeah. It's crazy. But you know, that's how the journey go. People notice you from different things. Right. And then they see you doing what you might have started doing. Right. Like, oh, wait a minute, yeah. It's a gift. It's a yeah. gift. It's a gift. Like, I don't, I don't even think it's a curse. Like, it's like, it's a, it's a true gift because now I get to re rebrand myself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just yeah. redefine who I am. And, and you constantly, and constantly got new people discovering you. Yep, yeah. constantly growing. Now it's like, you know, if you know my, if you know me from my music or if you know me from my film, it's it's a win. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like at least they know you. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. And, and when I got my business hat on, I ain't got my sensitive artist hat on, cause you know some people be like, man, I want people to know me for this. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's more so like whatever you know me from is that's it's, 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 it's whatever. You, know, you know, as long yeah. as it's, yeah. it's a win, it's yeah. a win. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's it's always it's coming back to me. You feel me? So it's it's dope. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? And like if they gonna follow me on. Instagram or threads, wherever we on right now, it's like they gonna see that I do other things. So it's like now I, I've created my own channel, created my own sort of, you know, I just, I'm in control. It's a good vibe. Yeah, that's dope as hell vibe, to be man. in control, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like y'all in control, you know what I mean? I had to pull up. You know, oh, you know, it's us. It's us. It was us. Yeah, you know what I mean? You was in the house and we, we pulled up. We were like, yeah, oh, okay, my Come bad. Come on now. Come on. You feel me? Yeah. So what's man. the process? Cause you know, you're an actor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're an artist, you feel me? And the preparation mm-hmm. for both of them is different. Right. Especially when you're attacking the task 
properly. So you gotta answer this too. You know what? Uh, but, yeah, but, but it's you from hearing it from yeah. your colleagues because it's like you know, I, like he said, like he's acting. But I've been knowing Jacob for music, and to hear people be like, "Oh, he did music." I'm like, this nigga's a hell of a single nigga. Like mm-hmm. he, no, he, he can be up there with the ushers and them. But it's like y'all want to put us in the box. But I, I love mm-hmm. to hear him say, mm-hmm. "I'm not stretching the goal." Or make them platinum hit, but the people gonna make it platinum. I'm just yeah. giving them, I'm entertaining. Yeah, yeah. I just like it. And when yeah. you say the love, the process, yeah. fall in love with the process, I think that's why I Because it, it really come through in the, it come through the through the content. You right. know what I mean? You can tell when you feel like you on set or you on a music video set, you like, you trying to make a hit, you trying, you feel me? That's not a good feeling. Right. You know what I mean? It's not fulfilling at all. You don't walk away feeling good. Right. You know, I was like, I'd rather walk away feeling like, yeah, I did that. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Shit in that right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you catch it, you're going to be like, right. damn. That motherfucker right. hard. Yeah. So, what, so what's the process of making sure you attack the role right. and making sure you go in here and like you said, you're not you're not the, the actor, Jacob. You're not the artist, Jacob. It's a difference. Yeah, what's the yeah. switch? I, we, yeah. I need to know the process. Man, it's, um, I think, it's, it's been it's been tough. It's been tough to kind of balance. I think for especially depending on the role, mm-hmm. like especially um, it's this film I did called called Gully right. that's on uh, Prime, and it was one of them roles that just took took everything up out of me. You feel me? Like it took. I had to isolate. You know, I had to be by myself. Like it was wow. it was a very it was just it was just wasn't me at all. Mm, you know, okay. with the shot, I can kind of put me into it, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Go on and be myself a little bit. So it was challenging a little bit. Yeah, but this one was like super method, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like just tweaking out. My homie was like, bro, I can't wait till this movie over, nigga. You acting, you acting different, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. um, I think Damson Idris was just talking about that, talking mm-hmm. about how he had to yeah. get out of it. Yeah, you know right, what I right, mean? Right. And that's real, I relate to that, you know what I mean? And that's why I was like, man, I, I don't want to do too many crazy roles in my career, I definitely want to give them, give them that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but not too much because it really it take up your personal life. When you accepted it, you feel me? It was you like, I right, this is a role I want to see. Can I do? Yeah. And then when you got into it, you was like, ooh, yeah, shit, no doubt. This so shit. you took it like as a challenge, and yep. you realized how much that shit took out you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, this is because I, I didn't I didn't think about it beforehand, you know, because I had never never done it before. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when you get into it and the and the movie over. You start feeling that that same energy on you. You feel more aggressive. Like you're talking a little different. Mm-hmm, you're like mm-hmm. hold up, nah. Like this ain't even, this ain't even me. Mm-hmm. You ever got called grandpa? When you ever put the blessed oil on right. you? Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Swear, swear. Like oh man. So it's um, it, it consumes you. I think the shift, the shift been hard. It's been tough because I've, I've turned down touring opportunities because. It's like I'm wearing, at, at, at age 26, I'm wearing like a business hat and I'm wearing like the artistry hat mm-hmm. and the passionate hat, like die for the, you die for the the, the art mm-hmm. type of mm-hmm. hat, right? But it, then it's like, man, I'm a man, I gotta pay bills. You mm-hmm. know, I got, I got homes, I got properties, you know, these things can't pay for themselves, you feel me? So it's a, it becomes a thing yes, of like, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm grown. I gotta do what makes sense. You know what I mean? Grown I, man business. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta set my priorities straight and also still make room for the things I love to do, which is music. You know, so I try to I try to I try to give my fans as much as I can, but I, I I've also just been in a different bag, man. You know what I mean? Like, cause I got so much. I got you feel me? I got so much content out there. I put out three albums um, called Connection, Connection One, Two, and Three, and um, the third album I re-released. Connection one and two with the third, mm-hmm. just to reintroduce the last two. People thought I dropped 40 new songs, right. but I'm like, nah, like, we just manipulated the streams and now yeah. everything, you feel me? Yeah. So, and, and then people are like, oh, well, I didn't even know you do music. And then I drop visuals with everything. It's like, it's a it's a vibe, you know? And then, my bad. That's my, that's the real estate dude calling right there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Trying to yeah. 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 Talking right on yeah. up. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. bills are called. <laughs> yeah. No cap. Yeah, man. So it's um, it's a, it's a, it's been a cool journey, but I'm I'm still on in the, in, the, in the beginning. I think once I really get in this film bag, I can do whatever I want. Right. You know what I mean? Now, like, see, speaking of speaking the bag, cause yeah. you in your bag, mm-hmm. like and you, I'm inspired <laughs> because when you in your bag. You one of them dudes that can't let knock you off your pivot. Mm-mm. You understand? And for those who know, they know. Yep. And for those who seen, they seen. Mm-hmm. How do you keep your composure when they 
I see them try to attack you mm -hmm. and try to make you jump <laughs> out of character. You did not move now time. Peace right? be still. Peace be still. Stay right there. And to continue scribing, how did you continue to make sure I'm not going to get distracted? Man, you know, it's just, you got to do what you got to do. Turn that phone off. Mm -hmm. Lock in. Um, actually, I did start therapy this year. I did start therapy this okay. year. It was, um, it was good for me. I think it was a lot I had to unpack. I think uh, I was stuff I didn't even know, you know. And then it was, it was cool to just kind of learn yeah. yourself. I think, you know, we 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 so in outside and entertaining people. You like, you really gotta have them talk with yourself and really talk to a stranger. Sometimes I think that's been cool for me. And um, it's just I got a praying family, man. I got a praying family, super spiritual, and I've I've learned not to ignore my gut. You know what I mean? Right. When you like, when you when you know it, you know it. You know it. You know it. You, you know, know it. You tell you. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know it. So it's like, <clears throat> what's what's gonna happen? It's gonna happen. Who's gonna be there? Gonna be there. And if they left, they left. You know what I'm saying? Boy, I'm gonna go to therapy reason. too. It's a good vibe. I ain't going to no therapy. No, I'm, I'm gonna wait till I'm, I'm finished doing what I'm doing. Right. But then, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say it's for everybody, but it's like, I ain't finished being crazy yet. I got some more shit to do. I'm gonna go I got some more shit to do in this state of mind. <laughs> then I'm gonna go. I got a few more things yeah, I got to finish. You ain't trying to unlock that. No, nah, I don't want them. Hey, I need to stay fucked up for a little bit longer. Because what I'm trying to do is going to require me to be a fucking savage. You, you, you good. I'm good. You good. I can't talk no therapy. I end up fucking around and turn to their therapist. You ask me all the questions. You all right? Yeah. I'm your six motherfucker that you talk to today. What? Bitch, are you okay? <laughs> you ain't even gotta ask nothing that hard. It's just gonna be the yeah. simplest question. And then they're gonna break down. Did you eat there? I can't eat. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Everybody eat me with I'm me. I'm like, see, Yo. you need a problem. Yo. Nobody had never asked me that. I'm like, you know what? You need to find this bitch. This bitch. <laughs> she going through it. Right. What? what if you go see your therapist and they late because they going to see their therapist? Damn. Do that's therapists not, see good, therapists? That's not a good Exactly. I told my that's therapist some therapy. shit. She said, I never heard that before. I hung up. <laughs> he was, was on, on the Zoom call. It was a Zoom call. I just closed my shit. I said, bitch, I said. How, how did Cashy feel energy through a computer? I wasn't going in, uh, first of all. Why? So you 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 trying to therapy, but you, you're you in the house? Yeah. <laughs> What if, you got, no what if you in therapy, but you got anxiety? Like, you can do the Zoom call, you just can't be in the camera. This thing is like on trial therapy. <laughs> yeah, I was in like, you're telling I, all your deepest, darkest secrets, but you can't be in that little box saying it. That's right. Hold on, I'm about to tell you, you something. Therapy in the house. You can't do therapy out there. They go against it. You gotta touch you. <laughs> I'm still in my comfort zone. You gotta get out your comfort zone to go talk to somebody. Yeah. You don't. I mean, I do my own zone. You do your own zone too. I do my zone. Yeah. What if somebody in the room and they like? I got a couch. This what I need to go sit on your couch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I got this nigga suck out. Do this nigga. This nigga suck his ass. Like, ah, oh, damn. <laughs> like what? You thought they muted it? I heard everything. And this didn't mention that nigga. <laughs> You so you said that, uh, you were... <laughs> you hear people whole, in the background? That's the dude be crying over his girl? <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. No, I'm it. <laughs> the ones I done did didn't, didn't help, though. Bro. Like, sometimes you be like, all right. That's I just, that means y'all just need to talk to people. That don't mean you need to talk to a no, therapist. No, no, you can't yeah. talk to people. Did no, you cry? Fuck no. Oh, it didn't work. So what's the difference between a therapist and a person? All right, first of all, if you talk to somebody you know, What's gonna happen is they gonna start telling you their problems. <laughs> oh man, that same shit happened to me. Right. Yeah, yeah. Fuck up, man. Why right. didn't tell you what happened to me? Right. What did you do? I just went through it. Then shut the fuck up. Right, right. Right. That. But you know, when you tell somebody, they already got their idea of the shit you be doing. And, and I think hit, you know what it's saying? about. Like, I mean, I, I think I lucked up for real because when I when I tell people that, they like. Nah, I ain't, I ain't have a good experience, but I'm, I'm having a great experience. You know what I'm saying? You gotta want to be you there too. You gotta yeah. want to be there. You a nigga who don't like venting and just venting and was like, "Who that feels so good?" <laughs> <laughs> you just wanna go. You like, I got like, some more shit to tell you. I feel like I'm venting. Maybe, I, maybe I don't. You know, there's a lot of stuff I didn't vent about. You know, I was like, okay, I'm like, yeah, it's a. And be like that. See, yeah. with me, we hold a lot of shit in. Yeah. Then we have a conversation <laughs> with our significant other. Niggas but we don't tell her everything. A nigga will tell a therapist. Niggas forget the everything. Niggas get 
get mad and, and lay with a girl and be like, yeah, I'm not nice, baby. And you just cry to your therapist, my nigga. <laughs> right, I'm so cool. fucked up. Cool. It's going to cool. take me a couple times just to even get through a session because I know I'm going to end up arguing with the fucking therapist. For real? <laughs> the fuck do you know? You ain't never been me. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I can't do it because I don't like being interrogated. Like, hold on, Carlos, calm down. Man, fuck all this whole long shit. Your ass ain't listening. Oh, no. You know, the crazy part is they don't say nothing. They just look at you? You look at me and you write down, bitch, I'm going to flip your notebook. Yeah. Talk to me. You say, after, after you say, some, say yeah. something. Did bitch. you pay for this? Then they hit you, they hit you with this shit. So why do you think that happened? <laughs> so what do you think that came from? Life, bitch. <laughs> no. I can't talk to no therapist. The fuckers what? Yeah. I can't do it. I can't do it. I got real part. That's why, that why I thank God that he surrounded me with like great right. genuine people. Yeah, yeah. Like, I knew mm-hmm. for a fact it's certain people that I could call where I'm like, all right. Right. They gonna be a listen is nah, nah, they ain't done. They might not have shit to say. Right. But they gonna sit there and be yeah, like, they gonna shit. hold you accountable. They gonna yeah, they gonna hold me accountable. They gonna yeah. be like, well, shit. They gonna really just sit there and tell me like, fly. That's the real. Shit, you know what time it is, bro. Like, yeah. shit. I ain't the nigga that's gonna kiss your ass. Right. Because right. who you is and what you done right, done right. for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit here and tell you like, nigga, right. shit. I'm here with you through whatever process you think it is needed, but don't trip. Right. right. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just yeah. don't trip. Exactly. You got to take it day for day. Yeah. Like, I knew exactly who I need to call. Like, it, it, I can't yeah. talk to no strangers. Nigga, bro. that I shit don't like, work on me no I more. Like, that's why I don't think it's fair. Niggas just telling you shit. Keep your head up, nigga. <laughs> Chin up, nigga. <laughs> Keep going. Shut the fuck up, man. Right. That's not all niggas trying to say. Give me some advice with your shit, nigga. Fuck that shit. Listen. I don't be on that generic shit. If you get mad at me for telling you to keep your chin up, I'm like, well, you need a therapy, bitch. See? 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 I told you. Swear. Cause he gonna do it and get your old pussy ass a hug. That's no, what you want. Oh, you think that's the problem? So my chin been down, nigga. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dude, you get it. So Pull yourself up bitch. by your bootstrap. What? Fucking bootstrap! <laughs> <laughs> my strap, my boots don't have no strap! Your mic, nigga! <laughs> Too hot to be wearing goddamn boots! <laughs> Damn! Tie your motherfucking shoes. I just feel like niggas be wanting to hug and don't even know how to say it. Swear. That's all it is. A nigga just sit there and you be like, You know what's wrong with you, nigga? You're like, you need a hug, don't you? You're gonna be like, See? You need a hug? The moment you do like that, you're gonna be like, That's what's wrong with you. He's gonna lean in your hand. See? Hey, but then you got them crazy niggas that you give them a hug and they be like, Get your hand up! Like, damn. That's what's wrong with niggas. Niggas just miss their grandma. That's it. Miss their grandma. That's it. Yeah, but great. I can't even you, for real. What you want me to do? What you want, nigga? What do you want me to do? All this shit that happened and the therapist is still on the phone. Just sitting there listening. We're sitting there like this. Blame everybody. He's like, it's good. Let that out. Let that out. Let it out, nigga. Let it out. That's good. Let it out. But see, that's the therapy, though. Niggas do need a hug. Every nigga miss their grandma. That's the therapy, though. Oh, man. Ain't nothing but stress. That's oh, just that's trying true. to release. Let's start a business, right? Yeah, I'm gonna have a big ass truckload of grandma. We just gonna be pulling up on motherfuckers. Like dog, you good? You good? That nigga crazy. You safe? Yeah. You safe? He done turned on you. You're a part of the problem. You're a part of the problem. It's cause of you. you. Get your motherfucking hands off of me. If a like, nigga look up like this. Oh, it's a wrap. I'm out of there. You're like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. 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 Nah, they must. Know, they I know I can get this. Like, no, they don't. Nah, I know. <laughs> they even got fake snot bubbles. <laughs> they got no, fake, that's her snot. They, like, they got no, fake tears. They, <laughs> they got fake tears, but I ain't seen no fake tears. She stayed a little sick. <laughs> she had a little cold. And she was like, you need some orange juice? She's like, uh-uh. I got to see you tomorrow. <laughs> I, got, I need the mucus. <laughs> <laughs> trying to save the snot. I need the mucus. she blew it out and put it in a cup. <laughs> hey, like, I'm going I'm to get an Oscar. That's the Oscar juice right there. Hey, where was this snot? I put it in the fridge right now. I have some. <laughs> y'all are fucked up. This is dumb, bro. <laughs> but I do think like everybody needs to just vent 
vent. We when need, I say vent, you need, like, you need to, it's okay, bro, the yeah. vent talk. Yeah. To that's find right. solutions, though, because that's really what a therapist right. is. Right. You're going in there to yeah. find a solution. Yeah, 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 Don't yeah. you right. think you're in there talking to somebody about your pussy ass problem? Why you, why you think going there and find a solution? Why you got to be real with what you really feel it too. A, a lot of people don't think huh? it's because. Nah, I was just thinking that the first couple of times I go, I'm going to laugh. They want a hug. I'm going to just see how good they really are. Look at your ass over The first couple of times I go to therapy, I'm going to laugh just to see if they're really good as they say they are. I'm not going to tell them the truth. What? And if they fix my fake problems, I give I let them fix uh, my real ones. If they fix your fake problems, <laughs> <laughs> you said you, say, you say, first couple of shits that I throw out there are just gonna be hypothetical shit, and I'm gonna act like it's me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. What's some what's some what's some what's some fake news? Forrest Gump. <laughs> you you came up with the problem. Move. Now my real problems. <laughs> what's some, Hilarious. What would you do if your child was at home crying all alone because he's hungry? <laughs> <laughs> On the bedroom floor. And all the way to Peter was Give a look. <laughs> Emmett coming through. He knows what to do. That's hilarious. Oh, shit. But I, I, think, I think as men, we need to a city high find song? ways to <laughs> vent. You are what they salute. say you are. Yeah. Facts. We do. Oh, uh, shit. You know it, ain't, it ain't enough. It got to be, we got to have more masculine, spiritual, like, warrior sessions. When it's like, look, man to man, bro, you all right? Man to man, you you you, you straight, right. like, being a father. What you do as a father? What you right. do as a father right. so we can come you, together? How really like, how you feel? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you know what I'm I saying? I know I'm a good father. Cause I'm out here teaching my son shit I don't even know how to do. Uh, oh, son, yeah. when you dunk that motherfucker, you gotta let that rim go. You can't <laughs> just hang on to him. <laughs> Cause your son tall here. He looking at me like, what the fuck you know about dunking? Nigga, trust me. Hey, I know it. I that. <laughs> when I was out there, right. shit. I see why old niggas lie. You have to. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> just the motivator. You gotta, these lies, what, these ain't lies that can hurt nobody. When you hit that ball, yeah. you gotta make sure it go over the face. Hey, son, when you dunk it, <laughs> I ain't never hit no home run. Keep your eye level to the rim. You got to know just in case it's a nigga up under you, son. You don't want to fucking roll your ankle. Look, look at your foot. My look. foot fucked up. Look, don't worry about all that. Damn. I'm in my bag. You be telling your you son fake sports injuries. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> so I tried to go up for the dunk. Right. Man. Broke both their ACS. Damn. When I tell you the biggest white boy you ever seen in your life <laughs> undercut hey. me. I what? flipped four times. Right. Right. Crazy. Landed sure. on his knee. Uh-huh. The alley coming it like still this. made the shot. Motherfucker. <laughs> Undercut me. I caught the ball. Got hung on the rim. Hit the backboard. That's what. That's what. That's what. That's happened. crazy. I used to lie to my nephews when I was coming up. Yeah. Why? I used to make them sit. Cause I, it's, it was fun that they used to believe me. Oh, Weird yeah. story. I'd be like, these niggas are dumb as fuck. <laughs> But some of that shit is imagination as a kid. Yeah. You know what the motherfucking man. Oh, man. Like, yeah, I remember one time that? I had that. And if you don't, you write that dog. I remember one time I had that told them nigga, I was like, I had that got jumped by eight niggas. Damn. But I told them nigga, I was whooping their ass. It was like, every time a nigga took me, I was like, get off me, nigga. Yeah, I hit one Get off me, man. All you know my nephews in there like, for real, uh. I was like, yeah. He caught me right here in the back, though. I ain't see that one. Yeah. Then I get to the end of the story, and you I'm like, You know what? That makes sense to me. They probably wanted to believe that shit so bad. Boy, that nigga was like, I can do this every Saturday. <laughs> Don't care, y'all listen to me. Always get, you're like, damn, like, we always get fucked up. Niggas, that story was giving them hope. They was like, if I ever get jumped, I ain't gonna do it. And then, <laughs> Don't you, you call me. me. Don't let, <laughs> y'all ain't gonna get jumped, nigga. Don't <laughs> let the nephews actually see the fight, like, uh, like. Wow. But see, I started losing them. I had three, but then when I used to give them to sit down, uh -huh. it would be like two. And then I only had one who would want to listen, and I'd be like, man, get your ass on. Right, right. Yeah. I'd be like, nigga, why you still here? He you got mixed in some truth with, with the bullshit. It wasn't no truth. I was just lying all the mystery, fucking time. Mystery mix, like. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes lies can be the, like, the fuel that can like lead the generation. Like you, you don't want to lie to them just flat out. You want to give them the lies of hope. Uh -huh. well, I just, yeah, I don't, I, you can't give no big life, life lie. Right. I just made up some shit and fuck with my little brother and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, you, like, you gotta tell them the right kind of lies. Like, hey, you can't yeah, be you can't, whatever you, you want to be. It, 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 it's a lie. You can't yeah. let this shit go on forever. Uh -huh. Oh, that's it right there. Right, what is that? Uh, the uh, American Dead. Oh, shit. Yeah. October 10th, where oh, we going? Oh, family business tour. Where family we at? We Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Lone Star State. Man. Come on, man. Coming down. Come on.
on, man. Yeah. Don't talk about. Come on, man. Don't talk like that. Don't talk about coming down. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have me a shag for Dallas. One of them. Things. You gonna you get know? a little booty? Yeah. In the back? No. The, that's what they call it. The oh, little I, booty. I, I they call that booty in the back. Booty. Nah, I don't want now that. I'm bringing this booty to Dallas, Texas. Dallas. 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 At Echo Lounge. Echo Lounge. Echo Lounge. Echo Lounge. You know what it is? Y'all Play name is Moneybag Mafia. Hello. Nan. And we are Green. And we are Green. immature. Bro, why yeah, you very immature, man? Group so why would you be an RB group though? We ain't gonna sing. Remember we came in, he was dancing in that water? Yeah. <laughs> He was doing he what? He was dancing in the man, water. He put the Lounge, water on man. the floor. Nigga be hating. Echo Lounge. Let me new addition if we're gonna be an RB group. Man, we ain't be in that shit. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And Miami, we coming to turn up. I'm excited. I'm excited, too. We've been long overdue for a Miami show. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see y'all. It's the perfect way to kind of, I guess, end the summer, because the summer going to almost be over. And it's like... But August 13th, yeah. we're going to be in Miami. Miami Improv. Show doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Yes, and I'm telling y'all, look, this is right before my birthday, too, so y'all know I'm finna be lit and turning that. Ooh, we, I'm finna, I'm finna put it on for Miami. I'm telling y'all, listen, August 13th, doors open at 7, show starts at 8, Miami Improv. Y'all, please do not miss this show. Y'all know we gonna have people popping up, rolling up on us. Miami, it's gonna be fun. Welcome to Miami. Period. So I'm in Miami. Yes, you know. See y'all What soon. the old people used to say, be there or be queer? What was this that getting jiggy with it? All right, all right. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Today we are sponsored by Lemon Pepper Wings Extra Wet. Tay. Yeah. Hey, tell the nigga how I used to make y'all niggas sit down and listen to stories. I used to be lying. Oh God. Nobody's lying. Lying, man. He like, nah. Look, look, look. What'd you say? Home and wait. Hey, we used to wait on fly. We used to be sitting on his bed. I said, we used to be sitting on your bed. Why not you to get home? Like, no, he got a story to tell us. Oh, my God. <laughs> I swear to God. Ready. Right, <laughs> Had his little nephew sitting on the bed, like, oh, tell us about Ray Boom Boom Room. I used to be lying. Yeah. Don't niggas be believing me. That's why I'm a good storyteller today. That's what you call it. That's the, that's Little kids appreciate that. No, I like just that. I used to find it fascinating that they thought I was dead serious. I'd be like, bro, these motherfuckers believe anything. How old was it? How old was it? They be like five and six. Oh, yeah. they believe in anything. But, but they, they believe in anything yeah. I said. Yeah, yeah, that age, yeah. You, bro, you I mean, one, believe in Santa Claus, you can sell them anything. Listen, I remember one time. I think my nephew probably ain't seen his dad in like three years. I lied to him and said I seen him. <laughs> oh, yeah. now, now you can see. Oh, damn, nigga. This is my... I was like, nigga, you ain't gonna believe it. He like, what? You did wrong I said, I see your dad. He said, what? He was like this. I was like, he with me all day. Like, fuck up. No wonder they, no wonder you lost him. Damn. No wonder you lost him. <laughs> hey, man, that's your partner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that nigga was so happy. He was like, you seen him? I was like, I seen him. He told me to tell you something. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> and he was like, why would you? And that nigga was that fuck? Damn. Yeah, he was that fuck, though. And that was him? You told him? You told yeah, him that was him. Oh, damn. He was mad at him. We got to find about that shit, too. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Damn, DC. <laughs> These ain't the type of lies that I thought you was telling. Yeah, I thought I'm you like, was yeah, that telling tall tales, nigga. That was kind of dark. This nigga embellishing the truth. <laughs> I would get myself out of anything, bro. I would come up with a lie so fast. Yeah, I, I lie so much, I believe my own lies. Them not the type of lies you should be telling your nephew. I was telling my nephew yeah. simple lies like, oh, nigga, I have been on Captain Crunch boat. <laughs> you bullshit. I just say all kinds of shit. Yeah, I tell them shit that they want to hear. It's like, it's real? Shit. It's real. I really did that to get back at my sister because she didn't take me to the store. Evil. Payback. Yeah. Oh, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, man, got, what's this, the sixth season of The Shack coming out? Come on. Six, bro. Six, man. Hey man, that was Come on, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. Stop playing. Black yeah. show. 
Black Show. Six seasons. Yeah, Showtime. Black from top to Matter of fact, man. you know Shout JJ's from, 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 from Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> you know I had them. I had to. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh they got Harold Chicken, but you know JJ come from Chicago. You want some? No, I'm all right. Give me I'm one of them. them. I want one of them chicken, yeah. though. You never oh, know them chicken ones. I was trying to close it. That's why I would open up this box. I'm going to be on the floor. Oh, why? That, that, that chicken. Oh, yeah, that shit bust. You can't, you, can't you can't eat chicken? <laughs> no, I love chicken. I love it. He on a diet. He on a king, quinoa diet. <laughs> oh, no, only king quinoa. He man. on a quinoa. I be trying, bro. The boy drink lettuce at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I have to have my asparagus. I'm like, where's my, where's my wellness shot? Yeah, where's, where's it at? Up. Swear. Yeah, that wheatgrass get you. That get you right. right on. Nah, for real. Especially on the, on the shot. Like, they throw them sex scenes at you, man. You wanna, wanna be, you know, you wanna look good. Right. I, I do. So we got sex scenes, you know what I'm Come on, man. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Tell them motherfucker that sick, that sick come on, money, boy. That shit, that shit hit. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's good. I, I'm, I'm very blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hit, hit y'all with that. But how, how does it feel to be on a reoccurring TV show like? Yeah. Cause shit getting counseling and motherfuckers getting fired left and right, but nah, you like, yeah. you got a job, And the shit good. Yeah, yeah. Not only is it good, he's shooting a long time. This ain't no like two, yeah. three month type project. Like, no nigga, we need our time to shoot this yeah, shit. Yeah. You said eight months out of a year. Yeah. How the hell? Cause we got 16 episodes this year now. You know How long does it take to shoot one episode? Probably like two weeks, but you know they do. hour episodes, right? Uh, Y'all hours. Yep. Why one is it so long? I just, I don't know, I just take their time, you know what I mean? It's just, um, yeah, it's so, it's so many of us, too. It's wow. like, it's like 14 cast members, no, not for real. You know, I think principal actors, maybe eight. So it's like, everybody shooting different days. Right. Then right. COVID was a factor, too. You know what I'm saying? People getting tested. Mm. And then, you know, somebody gets sick, they push the schedule back a little bit, then it rearranges it. Somebody who wasn't scheduled for that week come in. Right. And now, you feel me? And it's so like, you might have a week where you're not shooting. Yeah, so yeah, I might I, I might have a few days off. So, so you know what I'm saying? Because you was off. That's how you was able to shoot house party. Yeah. Come on, somebody. House party, goddamn. Let's go. Yeah, man. And I'm we doing did that. Man, we did that. We did that. We did that. Right, did you hear about, did you hear about the, uh, the, the young teens that broke into a house, a trespass? And tried to do the same shit? No, we ain't. It's no, we ain't inspired that. Mm -hmm. But that's the generation. Though. That shit crazy. Yeah. That, to me, that was, to me, that spoke so much. I'm like, what you get? Whether you feel me, whether people like. Broke through my house? Yeah, it's like the trespass. Send me a clip. Yeah, it's like a. Uh, it was like a, a post I found. Somebody sent it to me on an IG, IG DM. It was crazy. It was crazy. You got yeah. something? Yeah. yeah, you got like some grease, some dry grease in your shit, I my boy. Dry scat, my boy. Put some water on that shit in the morning, boy. Hell yeah. Put it in there. Oh, she put it in there? Oh, she put it in there. Oh, you fresh with it. It's got to dry. Oh, you got some shit done today? You bullshit. I'm going to tell you something. This is Jay, Jay. All they missing is waffles. Waffles. They get some waffles? Mm. They shut that bit down. Come on with it. This shit look good, though. I, I might. You want some? I ain't going to do it. Let me oh. get a fry. I'm on a fast. Bro, we got plenty of motherfucking chicken, bro. Let me get a fry. I'm on a fast. Yeah. yeah. So like a certain time? Throughout sure, the day or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm Thank you, fam. 100 days. Appreciate okay. 100 days. Yeah, we I mean, have a piece of that bread. No, no, it's just energy yeah. wise. Okay. DC, yeah. let me have a piece of that bread. So, energy wise. I'm, I'm about to start eating right you now. I'm ready for the initiative. I got a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to push myself, see if I can do it. How was, uh, how was, um, you, sh you went to. Uh, what's the trip you went on to? Me, me you and Rob was in the uh, group chat. Fuck, um, Damn. you went to the, to, it was like a healing trip. Um, oh, talking about Honduras? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker off the chain, but you got to, that seven people. Yeah, and this, yeah, seven people. And I say that shit off the chain, bro. You know why it's off the chain and I love it so much? You get to tap in with nature. Mm -hmm. And not only you get to tap in with nature, it's just so, everything's so natural. Yeah, yeah. And it's beautiful as fuck. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful as fuck, and not only that, you getting the healings for real, because everything is clean, bro. Right, you right. dig what I'm saying? Your, your uh -huh. food clean. Excuse me, the people around you clean. That's a better environment than being over here. Right. I'm going to be one home. Yeah. And if you want to get your mind right, hey, they want the spots to go. I see, you got that working out. I was mad that I was, I, I was coming home. Yeah. Well, I did like four days. I'm talking, I do about two weeks over there. Yeah, that's the vibe you've been talking about, too. Did you feel me? Just the village vibes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. we've been on our journey. Uh -huh. We've been on our journey for a long time. Yeah. So this my nightlife, but. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Me, bro, Timmy, everybody, bro, we, 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 we nightlife. I'm but we, we respect. <laughs> 
Yeah, we was, we was in that. What, what, what club was that? I don't know. What, 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 that Jamaican club? Man, DC had his shirt off. I said, dog, it's time to go, dog. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about it, I take my shirt off. Yeah, so he's been doing that. 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes. Don't try to blame it on me. Nah, it's like, I was like, man, Jason don't want to leave the club. I, 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 I said, Jay, it's not, I'm like half responsible to have like, let's He like let's the go. baby brother that's like, look, like he, he tells us the whole look, look guys, you gonna go in here look by guys. 45 minutes. <laughs> you know me, I'm the type of nigga that's like, what I don't he, even wanna be in this thing, no way. You know that's what he's saying, go in And Ro and them motherfuckers like, I mean, let's do what we gotta do, baby. You know what I'm saying, like, nah, let's get, let's roll. Ro can kick it, oh, he, he Ro kick it. He can kick it, he like, can kick it. he like, we deserve this. Yeah, he like, man, we need to we step out. We need to promote the movie. Yeah, we out. We house boy. Nigga don't know, he's a gangster on the low. <laughs> he in the cut, like, yo, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, Everything's cool, bro. I don't really like the clubs like that. I don't really like, like the so clubs like that. He got a knife on him. Yeah, he, he <laughs> like, he said, yo, bro, y'all good. <laughs> hey, I'm matter of like, fact, he was, my nigga. he was sleep. In the club. He was sleep. In the club. No, he wasn't he drinking it all. He over there just. Nigga, just wake up. You got ready? <laughs> I'm like, dang, dog, like, you good. <laughs> that's my nigga, man. We had to wake up by like, what, six? Man, when I said that, for that, that was probably like the, the, the most fun I ever had on a press. Me too. Me too. Group of, group of oh, y'all was shutting shit down. Yeah, it wasn't man. that we were shutting I shit love, down. I love the press run. We were having fun. Probably about, I want to say, about two, probably about, two, about two and a half weeks, right. maybe. We just, yeah, knowing we, that it's going to be us there, we'll, we'll have each other in the group chat like, yeah. you coming? You coming? Yeah. Nah, I'm going to be there today. Like, All right, baby, baby. So we ain't going to sit up nothing without everybody there because yeah, yeah. it, it, ain't, it ain't fun without everybody. It ain't fun. You know what I'm saying? We did LA, Atlanta, yeah. New York. New York. Yeah, so that was... All kind of spread out within have fun, man. a couple couple weeks. Or whatever. It was crazy. Oh, we had fun. It's crazy. Be my niggas, man. I, I, I yeah, love you yeah. niggas on the movie list. I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> no, nah, but 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 when Jacob came in, handled his business, it turned the movie up a notch. You dig what I'm saying? And it was just like that's why the chemistry played out how it played out, and yeah. for it to be on the planes now, four, five months, six months after it, it done came out. A lot of movies don't get exposure right. after that, after a long period. Really? It's like, you know, whoever gets it, gets it. Yeah. But it's like, we on different platforms, and for us to be on a major platform, I feel like we did our thing. We did your shit. We did your shit. We, um, Bring a bunch of them, please. I looked at the cinema scores, 18 and underscored it A minus, right? Mm. And then as the age went up, the grade declined. Mm -hmm. yeah, you showed me like, it just, it's just for the new generation. Right, it's, right. it's so, it's so new. I think it's gonna do better over time, bro. Facts. Imagine, imagine it's gonna do the better elder people at that time when the original House Party came out, they probably said the same thing. They like, we don't wanna see this shit. They so used to Andy Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long ago, DC. Man, you crazy as hell. I know my, my daddy. I was there when Andy Griffin was in black and white, then when he went to color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did? Maybe. I seen that, bro. You talking to a nigga. Nigga, I know what these niggas were watching. They only watching the tornado chases, <laughs> <laughs> the Braves, and Andy Griffin. And Sam from song. Ain't nothing there been played in my household, but. Well, you know Andy Griffin was in the Matlock. I don't know nothing about him. Stop that to Andy Griffin. Man, like the same motherfucker. What year is that? What year is that? Like? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Starrick, Andy Where Griffin. Why the fuck out that shit? <laughs> what, what? Hey, Paul. I hate that shit. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I got hey, Paul, what are we doing? I be like, man, cut this shit off. Calm down, what year, is, what year is Andy Griffin? Oh. Andy Griffin, man, this nigga good. You gotta understand, Andy yeah. Griffin was like the white people Bill Cosby. 50s. This nigga, like 1940, 50s. all the way. Nah, you like I seen, I ain't tapped into it. But you gotta understand, you gotta understand when Andy Griffin was young, Andy. Mm -hmm. Not when he got old and he sat down. This was young Andy, probably like good 1930, had a run all the way to like. Not no 1930 now. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've seen originals. 1950. He like, I, I know Bro, that's when they started putting the color in. No color wasn't in the 50s. 1952? 52. You, you sure? When, when? Like you, in white movies. Wow. You sure? Color ain't hit the Andy movies. Griffin started in 1950. Let me look at it. Please, to please. I know it was in 1940, huh? 1960. When Andy Griffin first started? We both wrong. We both wrong. Damn. 1960, it was in black and white? Y'all about yeah. to argue for no reason. God damn. I thought they had them finally made in. Greg Gett Cullen was like, what, 68, 69, right? Hell no, Juan oh, yeah. Luther King was goddamn marching and shit around that time. <laughs> mm. Come on, Luther King died when? 1960, what? 68, right? 
Well, nobody watch no goddamn Andy Griffin in 1968. We were trying to figure this shit out. Rest in peace, Andy Griffin. He, he, uh, he passed 2012. Man, RIP OG. 2012. <laughs> Go, Andy Griffin, OG. When did he start? 86. Oh, so. Yeah. Damn. So how long, how long the season went? From 60 to what? Mm. What? Oh, that's crazy. The way my daddy watched them bitches, you would've swore that shit. The shot should go black and white. <laughs> That'd be hard. I just knew that nigga been here. I was like, but we know why all these bitches. He had spent off too. He did. To what though? It was just, he had his own. It was just him and his grandson. Yeah, that Goma Pile shit, that was spin off too, wasn't it? Mm. I don't know. I just used to I used to always want to drink milk out of that glad container. Why? I felt like it was cold on Andy Griffin's show. Crazy. Cause my daddy had canned. He had canned milk. Hey, no, that's that's look that's good. That's what you talk about. You think the white people refrigerated cold? No, it's just it's when they came TV. and brought yeah. the milk, it looked refreshing. Cause my daddy had canned milk, nigga. You ain't never went into a cabinet and got milk. <laughs> Nigga, that's pet milk. He told me to put it in the refrigerator. I said, you want me to get out of the cabinet and put it in the refrigerator and wait on it? <laughs> <laughs> you got pet milk. <laughs> and they got it. Back at it. Well, y'all already know what the fuck going on. Come on. Money bag mafia. We are Bell, Bill, and the hoe. Why he, see, he ain't had to do it like that. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Once again, I gotta keep these motherfuckers on track, but it, we, we back. Family business, Huntsville, October 19th. Stand up live, it's going down. I'm sorry, now. You know what it is? I'm sorry. They've they been beefing the whole tour, and it ain't uh -uh. even started yet. I'm sorry, bro. That's the crazy part. I'm Apologize, sorry. man. Uh-uh-uh. Tell I'm him sorry. something that you find good about him. I don't. <laughs> but I will October 19th okay. in Huntsville. Right. I will be your friend again. They, they would have like been said, made up by then. Family business. Family business. Family, family, business. Tour. family be fucked up until they ain't no more. Come on. I feel like you judging up like you ain't fucked up. come from a shelter. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's what they doing. Money Bad Mafia. Get your tickets at 85southshow.com. 85southshow.com. Stand, right Stand up live. Stand up live. Stand up live. We want to see you there, Alabama. Let's go. And you go. know all of us can read. We ain't even got no teleprompter. Come on, man. <laughs> it's called teleprompter. It's an ER. But you came hey. from a broke family. <laughs> nah, my family ain't broke. How you traumatized you can read? <laughs> You're a different type of nigga. You got people struggling. You traumatized because you can't read. I'm traumatized because I can read a little bit. <laughs> Family business tour, man. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know, Orlando, we owe y'all, so we coming back in a big way. August 10th, Poor Minds is coming to Orlando for our live show. Yes, we coming to Orlando Improv. I cannot wait to see all of y'all faces. You know, unfortunately, we had to reschedule these mm -hmm. days. So I'm super excited to come out and see y'all. Doors open at 7. Yes, and the show starts at 8, and we back bigger than yeah. ever. Let me tell y'all, y'all should be happy because this show, this round, is super lit. So Orlando, August 10th. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Orlando Improv. We'll see y'all and we outside, Buki. Period. Put it on, because we coming. Hey, what's up, Atlanta? Guess what? August 18th, I will be at Center Stage. Yeah, pull up on me. At the end of the day, I'll be at Center Stage. Fuck you talking about? Hell yeah. Fuck with me. Pull up on me. Um, I'm in there though, you know what I'm saying? Some stage type shit, pull up on me, you know what I'm saying? No capping gonna be done at all. Some of the coldest shit you ever heard, you heard me? Pull up on me, August 18th, center stage, Atlanta, Georgia. Here you talking about. Hey man, that nigga can't cook, man. <laughs> I just gave up on my daddy cooking. <laughs> My daddy could not cook to save his fucking life. Oh, yeah. It's never. It. When it's over, oh, he ain't it's never used real milk. He just had that canned cream. Man, my dad ain't had company. He would look at me and be like, nigga, you stay with your mama. You ain't even supposed to be here. Fuck what you talking about? I ain't even cooking. What's, what's the worst thing he cooked? I mean, my dad had that made some sausages, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about he them bitches on the skillet. Yeah. Fried them bitches. I'm talking about he. Nigga. Them bitches was so hard, you can wash dishes with them motherfuckers. <laughs> I like, you can't even bite it, you can't break it. And he mad as hell at me, he called me ungrateful. Mm. <laughs> you don't eat a whole nigga food, he gonna call you ungrateful. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> that's you say? I said, Dad, I can't. Eat, I said, Dad, I can't. See, that's your problem, you ungrateful. You ungrateful. I said, I can't, it gonna cut my throat. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gonna put it in the fridge just to make it feel better. I'm gonna eat it later. He said, call your mama and tell her to bring some food. That's what he told me. Damn. Man. So he's burning up the sausage and got mad at you. He burnt, he burnt the sausage and got mad at me because I didn't want to eat it. And then told me, you see your brother out there? And he a crackhead. He was eating the sausage. He like, he eat the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. I'll take, take it to your brother. Hey, I hey. said, boy, hard I didn't realize I was pulled till I got older. His brother came in and put the sausage in his pocket. Ain't nothing wrong with this sausage. Ain't nothing Next wrong with this. Sausage, man, I'm going to say this for later. Listen, bro. I did not know I was pulled until I got older. And then I realized, I said, oh, I was fucked. Oh. <laughs> what you mean? I was fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm not fucked up. That's why you're doing so well now. No, definitely. Anything mm -hmm. that I wanted Bill or Kevin. could have had, it was so far out of reach. Mm -hmm. You know how you but always, you always want, but I know it wasn't far out of reach, right. but it was just like, can, it, it was so far out of reach that I never know when it's gonna ever be in my hand. Right, 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 right. It was like the new Jordans. I want them, but they'll never be here. <laughs> <laughs> they'll never, be, they never be right here on my feet. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I wear, I wear Jordans through you. My ass. I wear them in my ass. I get, I get see. <laughs> Fuck man. Hey, they kill it for Jordans. Was I, am I bullshit? Fake clothes. I wore them bitches up the wind till I got my mind right, right? <laughs> Dang, you couldn't persuade me to wear nothing real. <laughs> Hold on, what type of fake shit though? Cause some fake shit, I ain't gonna lie. I, it I, it I, should be, should be alright. I was going. No, everything. When when fake when fake started to have a name that it was fake. You know how fake was like, hey, that's fake. And at the time, niggas like, nigga, ain't nobody. Who knows? Nobody ever seen nothing real. Get it never. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody ever seen nothing real before. But you not off brand. You fake. No, I was fake. It wasn't just. <laughs> 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 this nigga's stupid, man. You got to find a whole man. That ain't it. Nah, bro. That's the post on the If I want who I want, you gotta find a whole I would have had a hard life. <laughs> she, you said that before. You said that's why they said mm -hmm. right here at the road. Man, that's why yeah. I, I, I turned into a, a, a Bro, you had to wear fake yeah, yeah. clothes to practice having the real one. Wipe your lip off. No, you I want chicken on your face. I want fake clothes, bro. Crazy. I want yeah. fake clothes because I... Didn't care. I, was, I grew up knowing that as long as I had thread on my body right. and fabric, just great. Just great. that's all that matter. Mm -hmm. Right. And if I know, I didn't, I didn't realize yeah, this what turned was into fake. therapy. Uh -huh. oh, right. real. real quick. Real so quick. if I saw didn't a nigga wearing Apple One for fifty dollars <laughs> in my head, I'm like, they got to be real, bro. Or he'll get locked. Can't be real. Up. That ain't but twenty five dollars yeah. a foot. Twenty five dollars a foot, but you got a, a, a certain amount of time to wear them before they look like twenty five dollars a foot. No, no, I, I know the fake purchase rationalization. <laughs> you be like, man, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have them on my feet. You gotta walk light too. Who is the first moving? You gotta walk real light. I remember one time I took off running to slow down because my shoes fake. I was like, oh, hold tight. You thought they weren't going. You thought they weren't. They make no, they make no running shit. <laughs> <laughs> who was the first? Who was the first like real like when you was like everything's been fake, but now I'm about to buy some. Tim grade, Tim grade Christmas. When I when I caught me uh caught a little money, probably had I got my like fourteen hundred. Yeah. I changed my whole wardrobe. I said, oh, these they got me fucked up. I went to Marshalls, got all the polos, got all my khakis. I bought like four five pair of shoes, real shoes. Came back to school like, with James say or? say something to me now, bitch. And them niggas was like, damn, damn, I can't. That's real. All right. Let me check your shoes. Yep, that's real material. Right. They going crazy. They like, all right, little John, you finally. Glowing up. You done grown up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I've been in the door ever since. That's a great story. No, it's not. No, no, it. Come it's up, not. man. Come, come, come up, come up. But I want to know what no. you was buying that was fake. Because I remember, okay, shit I would buy that was fake when I was in high school. They had some fake iceberg shit. Right. I would get that shit. Yeah. Right. And right. Anytime I see the booster with that shit in the trunk, Man, Boy, damn, you bought it out somebody the trunk? Man, trunk, van, the cellophane pack. You, man, you remember when academic, Do you remember right. when academic was hot? Yeah. Yeah, fake academic? No, nigga. Oh, this one I knew damn. my price range. I didn't even know they made fake academic. Like, they made the best jeans, though. Academic? Yeah, you don't remember the clothing jeans. line academic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the machine with the hand on it? Maybe I got to see this. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we going Burgers and Coat Factory. Okay. Oh, My hell pants no. is... I don't know. $29.99. Before. This is before. 
that's actually high for Burlington. But listen, yeah. <laughs> that's the top of the line. Dude. But that's I what that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, that's the highest of the high. That motherfucker must have had another stick on it that said seven ninety nine. Nigga, Burlington supposed to put a, a discount. No, on but this one academic right. was academic. Like niggas knew where to go get academic from. Like go to Burlington, they got the academic. And you gonna be fresh coming here with the academic. All the girls gonna be on you. Man, I grabbed them pan, nigga. I looked at it. I said, $29.99. I said, ooh, this is cheap. I know my daddy gonna buy this. Right. I said, Daddy, I can get these pan. He said, how much is it? I said, $29.99. Now my daddy a pastor. Oh. That nigga said, shit no. <laughs> 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 I like, okay. knew he was gonna buy that shit. Man, that nigga, he said, let me show you something. That nigga took me downstairs and Green Bride went to pay that. He said, them pants were $29.99. Now you pick out some shoes. I got four pairs of shoes. He said, now that's how you spend $29.99. Damn. <laughs> Damn. You got four pairs of shoes? And that nigga looked at me like it was a lesson learned. He was like, hey, that's how you. <laughs> Man, when the fuck you got some $7 shoes? <laughs> I don't have any pants. Hey, bro. I got four pairs of shoes with the same pair of Nigga, tennis shoes, if that bitch is even getting the three figures, throw them away. I got to wow. ask you this, dude. Damn. What? What was your freshest pair of buddies? Damn. Oh, you know what? I got to ask you this, dude. Throw them away. I got to ask you this, dude. What was your freshest pair of buddies? Nah. I'm talking about my, my friends or nah, my pair? Nah, oh, like the shoes. Like the pair of shoes. The, the, oh, the fake shoes. Like your, your hardest pair of buddies you ever had. My Damn. hardest pair of shoes I ever <laughs> had. The, the pair of shit. Oh, from Payless? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I had some, I don't even remember the name of it, they were black and gold. And then they had a G on it. <laughs> and I used to wear the hell out of them bitches. I used to be like, but these motherfuckers are hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, the G? I'm a the club. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but these black and gold, I used to wear them bitches yeah. with orange, green, black and gold, everything. Oh, I used to like gold. You couldn't Man. tell me nothing. I was yeah, like, I, I got gold. gold in my shoes. And nobody really shoes. knew what they was, so they couldn't say nothing. It was nothing. I know, but she had a G on. They was nothing. The box was black. But what they thought? The, 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 <laughs> the box ain't had no name. They couldn't even ring them bitches up. <laughs> I had to show them where I got them from. They were like, where you get these? <laughs> He like shoes like hey, this ain't matching. We don't sell these. We don't sell these. Sir. <laughs> nigga put them in the back. We don't sell these. He's about that shoes that I mean, that won't paint their shoes out of here. We don't have a sticker. How much will you pay for? They <laughs> ask you the price, <laughs> bro. Listen, bro. I think I thank my parents for, for raising me like that though, bro. Cause I'm not frivolous when it comes to this shit, bro. Yeah, buddy. What? I'm tight. Tight. But I do Whoa. get a lot of shit that I don't wear. Put it like that. I'm traumatized, yeah. but I'm smart. Right. Cause I still buy a lot of shit and then don't wear it for that exact reason. Cause it's like, yeah, nigga, I got right. you all got the you. shoes, but nigga, I never fucking wear them. You just got them in there. I just don't. I go wear some other shit every day, but don't wear the shoes cause I don't want to mess them up or do nothing. You ever sold a collection or anything like that? Like, I gave away Gucci when they, they did that bullshit. Oh, damn. And I was mad too, but I gave it all up. All up, all up, all up. Oh. All up. Damn. Can't wear Burberry. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I just wear all black on shit. Now, I fuck around with Louis here, Blue Moon, just because I'm on that, that wave of saying, man, I'd rather just wear your shit. You yeah. feel me? Because yeah, yeah. I don't know Louis like that. Them niggas don't be coming over here putting shit in our community. Right, right. We keep buying all this shit, and them niggas over there talking to We don't really want the niggas in our shit, but we'll take their money. <laughs> That's why I just wear 80. <laughs> they let us design. That's okay. why I just wear 80. That, they, they let us design yeah. shit yeah, so I mean, they can keep our face in our black dollars. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's smart, bro. There's a lot of great black designers out there and black owned companies. Yeah. And we could we could buy that shit too. And that's all we did. That's all we did with the shot last season. We did that. What? A lot of like black basically just um accepted any like black designers from Chicago and there's a that's fire. Send the emails in. So that's a lot fire. of the stuff we was wearing was kind of just mixed in with like maybe a high end and like there might be some independent, you know, shirts. Yeah, we need to send y'all some shit over. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, that'd be yeah. Right. We need that. So what was what were you oh, saying? We got you some shit right here. We got some more shit. What was your most exciting scene in the shot? <clears throat> What's that? We got you some 85 oh, South shit. We, okay, I'm getting up. Yeah, I'm getting up. Ain't this shot on the South Side? Yep, uh huh. So we, I don't we know, maybe you could wear 85 South for this. Hey, pop your head. It is black on. It is. See? Yeah. Oh, and it's the bull. Yeah. It's oh, we knew what we were doing. Somebody put the package in here. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Look, look. Yeah. Go in there and pop your shit in the shop with that 85 South one for all this crazy. No cap. This would be vibe. Oh, when yeah. you tripping? They gonna love this. 
We gonna, I'm gonna love this. Mm-hmm. Tell them we'll, we'll, we'll clear it. Yeah. Real, real <laughs> yeah. Call net. I swear. Just send the paperwork. Clear it. All real. Yeah, we'll send y'all. Verbal, clear it. Yeah. Send y'all kind of shit. You see, we got our black yeah. mannequins over here with our new track suits and shit. Oh, that's a vibe. Fact. I like the black and white vibes too. Yeah. I gotta get that. Yeah, I need some of that. What was your most exciting scene that you shot on the shot? Exciting? Yeah, nigga. Uh. You look like you about to say something nasty. Yeah. Hi, Will. He um, said he liked them love scenes. I know. Uh, he I up mean, here drinking ginger shots and I gotta, shit. I gotta be ready. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Most fun? Man, I got to Man. get in shape so she can grind on me with them panties on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's tough. That's tough. We, 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 got, we got so many memories at this point. We like, on the sixth season, let me see. Uh, I think my most exciting Scenes probably come from that very first season, mm-hmm. just because it was just new. Right. We just like, it was just some, we didn't know where it was gonna go. So maybe, maybe the scene actually holding the baby. Mm. That was, that was kind of nerve wracking. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, he was crying, like mm. heavy, like hard. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, he wanted his real dad on set. Ain't you nothing know wrong I mean? with that, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't wrong, that. Ain't you feel me? I, I, I feel that, you know? Right. So I'm like, right. I'm trying to memorize my lines. I got my shirt off. It's, I'm kind of in the middle of a. I did a sex scene that day as well, and I'm like, it's kind of really uncomfortable me. because you really like want the baby to be comfortable. Yeah. And you like, I'm trying to act, but please right. come get your but baby. It was exactly how I needed to feel in mm-hmm. that moment. You know what I'm saying? Like it was exactly. I needed to feel overwhelmed. I needed to be. A, I needed to be a young father. Like mm-hmm. can't teach it. You know what I'm right, saying? You gotta right. go through it. So I think that and was. You ain't got no kid. Nuh-uh. So you frustrated for real. Yeah, I'm like, man. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, yeah. Like, what's up, man? Like, yeah, ain't nothing you working. Old father, right? like, ah! <laughs> and then, but as they as they getting older though, it's crazy. They like, they ready to come to work. They ready. They Hold like, up, you talking about the babies? Yeah, they they older. Hold up, so the baby grew with y'all too? Yeah, we got we got the That's same. That's the same baby? Yeah, it's, it's, they hire twins. Mm-hmm. They always hire so twins. So they was babies. It was babies. Yeah. And the babies done grew. So babies done grew. So y'all want some saved by the bell shit? Yeah, we we going crazy. Yeah. Huh? So the same baby you was holding, he four now. Yeah. And he talking. Talking. Walking. Him and his brother. <laughs> yep. I gotta get my Dylan, daughter Dylan and Dylan and Some shit. Yeah. Man, you really done raised some TV babies, man. I swear. That's she dope. trying to put my baby in that bush. They, they run up on me. They like, yo, what's up, man? I'll be like, it's crazy. It's crazy to see him grow. And then, you know, I'm growing, I'm still growing. So Look at like, you, huh? Uh, 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 Uncle Jack, Uncle Jack! Uncle Jack! Uncle Jack! You feel me? Uh, it's lit. It's lit, man. We so what else, you got, what else you got coming out, man? I'm gonna drop some new music, man. I'm gonna I'm I'm throw it out there a little bit. Um, but honestly, we, we still got a lot more episodes to film. We on, we on strike right now. Mm-hmm. Um, we staying with them, man. We staying with y'all. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's love. Yeah. It's love. It's strike? I'm, is everybody striking? Well, I, guess. I mean, the writer, the writer get already striking, but I believe y'all went ahead and, and I mean, pulled it just to show solidarity. You striking sure. with the motherfucker? I mean, it's just, it's just I'm well, with the union. Well, the, 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 the actors about the strike. You with the union? The actors get about the strike. Say about the strike. Let me tell you something. But it's, um, yeah, we, uh, we got, we got, it's, it's, it's gonna all work out. It's gonna all work out. We got eight more, eight more to fill. You know what I'm saying? Who your insurance do? <laughs> he don't even know. I'm paying out of pocket. That one trying to do. Hey, you know, you know, you know, you know. Hey, it's all good, man. It's um, it's a blessing though. I think, I think with the big thing I'm realizing, we in a big shift in, in the industry. Like I think that's always been, been cool. I've been always a part of like a, I feel like when I was coming up, it was YouTube. Right, was, right. Now it's TikTok and. It used to be cool to be mystique before social media. Now right. people want to know all your business. You right. know what I'm saying? Like now we in the we in the industry changing, man. It's a good it's a good feeling, and we still young, still yeah. going, we're still you know prospering, man. I swear. I was as a big brother. I'm I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. And not only am I proud of you, just seeing how long and how far you came and actually see it. Thank you, bro. You know, you know, I, I can sit here and say I was there. Yeah. yeah. You know, through in the beginnings. You know, yeah. we probably done ventured off and did some other shit, yeah. but when we came back together, it was like, nigga, you same still energy. doing this shit? Same energy. You feel me? Yeah. Going from the skate ring to be writing the same movies right. to going on billboards and touring. Just to say, man, listen, man, I'm proud of you. Man, I'm proud of you too. Keep man. going, brother. Man, you Keep going. You Love doing you. house party, man. Yeah, man. I'm talking about DC busting out scenes and then be like, I gotta go. And then I look on, on socials, he performing in front of arenas, dog. That shit I appreciate was, it. That shit was incredible. Hey, man, yeah, drop the social media yeah. so they can catch up with you. Follow me, man, at Jacob Lattimore on everything. Yes, on sir. On everything. Fuck at you J- talking about. J-A-C-O-B. Yeah. L-A-T. Yeah. 
I ain't about to do it. I ain't about to oh, do it. I ain't about to do it. I ain't about to do it. I ain't about to do it. L A T. Yeah. Uh huh. M O R E. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. That's yeah. all I'm getting. Yeah. Much love and success. Big love. Thank y'all, man. Always, man. Just make sure it's real. You ain't gonna stop. I can't wait. We out of here. Put the car to get on. Let's get a flick. Come on, dude. For sure. Thank y'all for. You want to know what we said on the rest of this video? Go to that. Just in case you're wondering what we're doing, we are now showing you just how important having the 85 South Show app is because you was watching this show thinking, oh, they done finally put the shit back on YouTube. No. They was listening. We weren't. We weren't. It's on the app. It's on the app. The rest of this, listen, the rest of the audio is on the app. <laughs> Now you gotta know what we Woo. said, you gotta go get the app. That's the 85 South Show app. It's available on Amazon, Five Stick, Apple TV, wherever you get your subscription. No, it's not. It's, it's just, not on it's Apple just TV? available directly where they sell apps. Or oh, they don't sell apps on Apple TV? It's where well, y'all should fuck with us too, Apple TV. Roku. Hell wrong with y'all. It fuck is Roku. on there. Put it on Roku. Don't say fuck nobody. No, I didn't say fuck them. I said put it, I know we fuck with them. Oh, we do. My house full of Rokus. Oh. The Roku remote air world. Yeah. So subscribe to the app. It's only $8.99 a month or $85 a year. So you get a whole year for $85. Did you yeah. know that? It's $8.50 and then you gotta pay tax. Yeah, so you know, it's eight. But you know, we get on all type of content. You know what, we not even gonna tell them who you got your glasses from until they get it on the app. I mean, hey, you gotta watch the app. The app is available. All of these people that say we should keep putting this on YouTube for free. What about the years of freeness that we've already provided upon you? We gave this away for Let's free for years. Let's move together. Why would you let somebody come invest in the show and put it on another network and you're buying their subscription? You don't ask them why you're buying their shit. So don't ask us. We're putting it on the app. Who's over the app? Nobody knows. Get the app. Yeah. We saw what you said in the comments. We sure did. We saw it. We saw everybody. The good, the we bad. Got somebody to read every fucking comment. And the ugly. So you know what? We folding under this pressure. Sure did. We hear you. We heard. We hear you. We win and did. We we'll just get the fuck on at y'all way. Yep. Just for an hour though. Yep. That's yep. all you get is an hour. So don't you can't complain. Well, where the rest of it? I at? think they should get thirty seven minutes. Oh, see, we gotta hurry up. We should up. Just put a whole bunch of ads in between, like long ads, like five minute ads. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Uh, you <laughs> slow motion ads. Slow, slow it down. <laughs> Waste a motherfucking time. Yeah. Uh, let's just uh. Go ahead and make sure. Channel85.com. I want to make sure I read what they wrote. They wrote some shit out for us. These niggas don't know how to spell or type proper sentences, but they trying get to get us to get y'all to buy the app. What, you think we want to read this shit? Channel85, man. So we can talk that shit, man. Ladies, don't you like the deep thrust, huh? Go get it on the app. Yeah. 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 That's right. On the app. Uncensored, unfiltered, and edited. Can you believe that? I'm talking about with actual production in it. Thanks. Jump cuts, yep. clips, all types of type of like exclusive shit that they don't even know that we did. They don't even know that we got a show where we be cooking like exotic foods and shit. Okay. That's on the we app. Got a sport show. Yep. Talk show, documentary. Chico got a handwriting class that he teaches. <laughs> Nobody passed it. Cause Nobody. that's why the shit looked like right. this. 
But we're working on it, and you can see it on the app. It's they didn't, the e app. didn't even tell them about the tax course that we had uploaded on there. No cap. They don't even know that we, we got we a whole show about Wall Street. And a $5,000 on the app. Right. <laughs> and we got the alternate ending to the color purple up there. Oh, right. man. No cap. We got the raw edition, all the uncut, all the bloopers. We got all that. Right, it's on the app. So if you want to see some shit that you know they trying to hide from you, go to the app. I'm leaving though. Channel85.com, go get the app. You got an hour for free. We gave you what you wanted. Now give us some subscriptions to the app. 850, 899 with tax, $85 a year. Channel85.com, 85 South Show. Get the app. Well, see, this is what they don't know. The app really three dollars, but adjusted for inflation is eight nine. Yeah. What low said? Get the app, man. Stop bullshitting. We out of here, man. We not about to keep working all this time for. We work for free. We are going on out, baby. We are going on out. We on your way to fly. On air.